Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Aliku Bonus Round. This is Eileen here, mom, and uh, I'm here with Nicholas. And, Hello. And, and we are coming to you from our kitchen table. Uh, we're doing something a little different this time. We're going to be uh, doing a board game, starting off with a board game, something called Unmatched. Um, Before we get into the game, hi, this is producer Nick in the background. Uh, what are we here for? What is this stream? I was getting to that. Oh, we you got to talk about the premise before the segment. We are here <laughs> to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. It's uh, a, a, a disease that has hit close to home to me on too many accounts and um, something I feel strongly for. So if you uh, are willing, uh, please make a small donation. Every little dollar counts. And it goes not only for people with Alzheimer's, but with any form of dementia. So um, they're looking for uh, ways to help prevent it, early detection, and getting resources out there. So please, if you if you are listening to us, uh, please, if you can, make a small donation. Where do they go to donate? They go to Telefly? Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> they go to, go ahead, help me out, producer. We made a short link bit.ly slash obr dash 2023 there you go it's at the bottom of your screen there you go so it's easy and if you don't have a twitch account which is what this is in no uh in twitch are we see are we are seeing in twitch we are streaming on twitch uh you do not need a twitch account to donate you do no. not even need a tiltify account to donate right um but if you go to that link that nick said you can watch us you can watch there you the can donate stream. there yes if you uh follow through the video player and you actually watch us on twitch and you have a twitch account you can chat and play along and all of that yep so easy peasy so without further delay i think we're going to start the game well we got to kind of set up first <laughs> oh uh, yes this so, complicated. yeah, uh, we got a lot of unmatched. Hey, hey, folks, I'm I'm here. I'm behind the camera right now. Uh, so unmatched is cool. Unmatched is a board game about heroes, uh, both real and fictional. Uh, and you basically get to have duels with each other. Um, these are all of the set. There's another set down there. I have a bunch of it um, and we've sort of uh pre-picked which um oh hang on which characters we wanted to play as yeah uh oh hang on technical difficulties here folks like i said this is a an ex uh kind of a extreme setup here we're using camera phones and we're using a laptop and it's all connected to nick's PC down in the basement, so yeah, there's a lot there's going a lot on. Wires, I can't promise all of this is gonna so. work well. Um, but we wanted to do this for a while, so yeah. Uh, but so basically, we have a bunch of this, and we've already pre picked out the characters each of us wants. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I think we're gonna, I think we each have a team of three, and we're just gonna do three matches. Uh, and that'll be the segment. Yeah. Uh, depending yeah. on depending on how long that takes. I don't know. We we've played this game a bit. Uh, right now we have everything ske scheduled for like yeah. two hour blocks of each thing. That's loose. That can play around. You never know when somebody's going to get hungry. The coffee is going to finish. Uh, <laughs> the coffee is over there. Is going to yeah. It's going to finish by the by what, long before the end of this segment. So, um, yeah. You pick. You wanted little red. Yeah. We're gonna start so with that one. take, I, I, I was just going to, whoever you want to pick first, I was going to say, let's just collect all of the characters that we want and then. Okay. Cards included? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to try Yenenga, uh, who has archers and health dials and sidekicks. Uh, and you wanted who's it? Achilles from this set. I did. 
Which board are we using? That was going to be the next question. We have to pick a board. I want Bruce Lee because he's Bruce Lee. Come on. That's so cool. He's Bruce Lee. Okay, folks, I will say there's a lot to these games. This is not my typical game. So um, I'm telling you right now, don't expect me to be a fantastic player because I will not be. Um, but it's interesting. The, the, the boards are very nicely done. The cards are very nicely done. So there are a lot of good things about this. It's just that you have to really pay attention. You need to... It's, uh, figure out what your character can do. That you have to. Um, There's so many words on all the cards. And, the, and and their moves and and they have um, sidekicks and it's it it gets it can for me it can get complicated. Take the um the board from that one. We'll pull all the boards out and then just pick. Okay. Who is Sherlock? Who is Sherlock? Who is Sherlock? Am I closing this up or we're going to wait? Um, I'm just moving them over to the ground for now. Uh, also, look as... Look at how nicely this board is. I mean, just look at the... It's not a very big board, but it's amazing how much you can move around on it. I do like that. Um, yeah, the boards are just very nice. Well, and also it's kind of funny because... um, What is it? This board... This is not a big board, but this is actually size, and this is for uh, four players. Mm -hmm. Whereas these little boards over here, which are not much smaller, these are one-on-one -on -one boards. Oh, this is a nice board. Yes, that is the uh, the one we played on last time. Is it? Yeah. Oh, but we played on this side. They're double-sided. So some of them are double-sided. So like this one and the opposite side are the same. It is just the uh, colored differently. Oh. So th this one, you can read the zones clearer. Uh, I want to say, nope, this one only has a one side. This one is actually two different boards. So mm. that's really nice. Um, yeah. We're missing one? We're missing one. Because Bruce Lee does not come with a board. Bruce Lee oh. is the master of every battlefield. Okay. Um, the last one is the one from Beowulf. Some of these also have uh, unique uh, aspects to them. So like the uh, Beowulf and Little Red Riding Hood board has doors on Grandma's cabin that you can open and close as you run through. Oh, we didn't play on that board last time. No, we haven't played on that board. Um, partly because it's got that, it's a, the board that, itself comes it, with tokens, and that seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It, enough. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with just the cards. That's enough to yeah. keep track of and my health. Um, okay, so we'll set this one aside because we don't want to deal with extra rules. Yeah. Um, that's okay. fine. Uh, I'm digging the, dunk, the, the jungle. Yeah, I, well, I was going to say, we have three matches. We have three boards. Use one for each one. Just um, who picks which one? Um, well, how, how, how about this? We'll do each board in a row and let's start with the little one. Okay. I, I, I think I know what a good order would be. So, okay. That sounds good to me. So, this is where we're going to go. Uh, last thing, uh, let's reveal characters simultaneously. Okay. So, take your, your three, um, like character info cards. Yeah. And I'm going to say, pick them, uh, and then pick one of them. We'll play them face down, and then we'll reveal at the same time. And then we'll find out what our first matchup is. Uh, okay. Whew. All right. I want to play that card, that deck. Okay, I think I want to play this deck. All right, let's see what our first... Oh, actually, you know what? This is a good time to switch cameras. Uh, we have a multicam setup going today. It's a little insane uh, compared to our usual. So this will actually go right here. Oh, that's the edge of the table. Can I move it a little bit? Yeah, there we go. All right. 
we leave it like that, that's centered here. Uh, and when I say here, I do mean here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this board is going to stay in place, and we're going to play around it. Um, I can put this aside now because it is not active. Okay. Oh, and all right, good game. Good game. Oh, we're not even we're not gonna match up the others yet. No. No, okay. one one at a time. Okay. All, all right. right, here we go. You ready? Um, yeah. One, two, three, and go. Bruce Ooh. Lee versus Achilles. Achilles. Ooh, I like um, that. And I have no idea what Achilles can do. All right. Okay. So Bruce Lee has the Bruce Lee deck, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and where's one? I'm on two because it's the two side of the board. Here's my stat. So and Bruce where's Lee. One, where's uh, uh, my one? Yeah. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Um, so Bruce Lee is a. Hi. Before you get started, how would you like your coffee? The coffee just is already uh, full half strength. And half. Yeah. The sugar. Just half and half, please. So I'm playing as Bruce Lee, who has a move of three, is only melee, and his special ability is at the end of the turn, he can just move one spot. He can just shuffle at the end of his turn. And he has 14 health. So he's actually a little squishier than a lot of the characters. And I'm playing as Achilles, and he has a sidekick. Is that in the frame? Yes. As, I don't know, Pat, Pat, Patrickles. Patrickles. Okay. And he can, he, he does, uh, he has health of 18 to start out with. He has melee. They both do, actually. And, um, yeah, so... He says when he's defeated, you discard two random cards. Um, while uh, Patrocles is defeated, add two to the value of Achilles' attacks. If Achilles wins a combat, draw one card. So, and on the back side is the, the what you get to do during your moves. So you yeah. get to do two of them, I believe, right? Yeah, okay, so quick breakdown of how this game works is that... Um, each turn you get two actions, although some cards will let you take more actions. Well, the if if the <laughs> reading the card explains the card. Um, but basically, you can uh, move where you move your figure and draw a card. Uh, you can play a scheme card, which is you know just has a bunch of effects, um, or you can attack. And the way that you attack is uh, the attacking player picks a card. I mean, just look at the artwork on the back of these cards. I mean, look at that. That's for Achilles. And look at look at Bruce Lee. The artwork is just fantastic on these. Um, pick a pick a defense card just so we can show this off. Because right here is going to be defense. in camera too. Defense. This. That's an attack card. Oh, sorry. Defense is a shield. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Kim. So, when one person attacks. The opponent has a chance to play a defense card. When they do, you reveal both at the same time. And basic premises, attack number minus defense number is how much damage goes through. But then every card has, um, or almost every card has effects on it. Uh, so, you know, Pat, uh, Achilles swaps with Patrickles. That happens immediately. And then you do the numbers. And then after combat, Bruce Lee so does Patrick this. Please can go on my on my board too, right? Uh, in the same starting zone. So anything that matches this texture, okay. yes. Um, which also for those seeing at home, if a if a spot has multiple is a part of multiple zones, it is all of these zones. So he yeah. could start here, even though it's got other colors on uh -huh. it as well. Okay. Um. You ready to start? Yeah, I think You're so. You get five cards. You got all your health counters. Uh, yeah, they are already set. Yep. If you want to put those, like I have mine, this is also just in frame. Oh, this is in frame. Okay. Yeah, just just enough. Is that good? That's I'm a reminder. I'm in frame. Yeah. All right, but I gotta keep my well. All right. I can I can use one of these cards to tell For me because they're all yeah. so they're all they're all the same moves. So each game. The, the moves are the same, the uh, uh, what you do on your turn, the actions. 
Yes. Correct? Uh, it's just the cards that are different. Yeah. That's, that's part of why this is like a universal system and like you can play all of the different sets against each other. Uh, okay, yes, I believe five cards. I always have to check this. I don't know why. I mean, how many games we grew up with where you start with seven cards? Yes, well, five cards. Almost like all of them. Uh, and you are in spot one, so you get the first move. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. So. Now I get to have a sip of coffee. All right, so I'm going to do two things, all right? Two, okay. I, I take two actions. My first action is to maneuver, which maneuver. means maneuver, which means I get to, so that means I get to move two spots, okay? And I can move both my character. That's out of frame. And, oh, this sorry. Is in frame. Oh, sorry. The so, board is in frame. You can right. remember that. So I get two moves. It tells you right here how many moves I get. And I can move both this guy. And this guy, correct? Yes. All right. So they each get to move. So up and this is my maneuver that I'm doing. So the, and I um draw a card. So I have to draw a card. You must draw a card. You may yes. move. Okay. And I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's do one, two. And we'll do one, two. And of course, you have to stay connected with the lines. I couldn't go from here to there. You have to stay with. They have to be connected. Okay. Right. And then the, the sort of gimmick of this board is um, this is the uh, a dinosaur pen from Jurassic Park, because Jurassic Park is one of the IPs they have to play with, I guess. Uh, where it's orange arrows, these are one-way movements. So you can sort of go into the cage, and you can only come out of the cage through this back, that back hole. Um, so that was one action. Okay. And... What is it when I do a scheme? I can just throw that card down, right? Yes. All right. So I'm going to throw this card down. It's an Achilles card, right? Uh -huh. It's called um, Spear Throw, and it deals two damages to an opposing fighter in the Achilles zone, which there is not. He is not. So, so I'd recommend you don't do that move. <laughs> But I, I can't do any moves then. Um, so then. So you could maneuver again and just take a card and chill out. All right. See, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> it takes me. Well, in all honesty, we, we only we played a brief game the other day. Yeah, we played one game to practice yeah. for today, and yeah. then we've played it a few times before that, but all sparsely, right. so I guess. I got to maneuver one more time then. I'm gonna go here, and I can go. Here and he's gonna follow me as well. Okay. All yeah, right. I'm that's... done. All right. Well, I'm gonna maneuver, so I must draw a card, and I can move up to three. Uh, one, two, three. Uh oh. Um. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. And I am going to attack uh, Patrick Lees. I'm not going to say that correctly. Yeah, I know. Um, well, what am I going to hit him with? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to attack with this card. So now you have a chance to play a defense card face down, which you do not have to, but who, generally who are you, you attacking? want to. Uh, Patrick Lees. So it has to be a Patrick Lees. Patrick Lees or any. Uh -huh. And if I don't have any? Then you can't play a defense, and my attack goes through undefended. There you go. That's where we are? That's where we Great. are. Great. So I'm going to uh, hit with Momentous Shift. Uh, during combat, if Bruce Lee started this turn in a different space, the value of this card is five instead. Uh, so five damage goes through. To this guy. To oh, Patrick Lee's, Wow, yes. okay. Which Patrick Lee's is uh, pretty unique in that most of the sidekicks, the characters represented by tokens instead of figures, Normally, they only have one hit point. Patrick Leagues is beefy, so he starts with six. Ooh. Um, that yeah, is... just wiped out five of them. Yeah, I know. Uh, that was my second action. Uh, at the end of my turn, I may move Bruce Lee one space, and I shall. 
Your turn. Okay. Fighting in the dino pen. All right, what do I want to do? Man, so I hit him. See, here's the thing though. Hitting him with momentous shift in the, the variant without a block and he still survived. That's incredible. That that should be like a crippling bro, blow even for a uh, full character. A hero, if you will. Um, all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver. Maneuver. So I'm going to draw a card. It's just fun to say. I'm going to maneuver. Where am I going to maneuver to? Well, I imagine near Bruce Lee so you can punch him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move my friend here. One, two. Can he attack him now? Because he is adjacent, yes. He is adjacent. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, are you going to move Achilles? Um, you don't have to. No, I don't think I am. Okay. I'm I'm just making I'm just making sure that you know yeah, you remember everything no. available to you. I'm not trying to coach, right. I'm just trying to so I don't remind. know I don't know exactly what this card means, but I'm gonna play it anyway. So I'll I love do, it. I'm doing an attack. You're doing an attack, so it is a red or purple. It's a red. And it is from uh Patrick Any. Uh, any? Okay, good. Good, perfect. Like, Great. That much I got. That much yeah. I got. <sighs> um hmm. I thought I had no discard files because like, I, I didn't play any. Yeah, you okay. only drew cards okay. left turn. All right. Reveal? Yeah, reveal. Oh, yeah. Test for weakness. After combat, relentless assault. Faint. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Ugh. So, um, that, that was a good play, though. And honestly... So, I don't know what it means, though. What does it mean? So basically what that means is... This is an attack. Yeah. So this attack is going to resolve. So immediately cancel those effects. Right. Um, nobody has during. So one, two is blocked. Zero goes through. Uh, Bruce Lee wins the combat because no damage was dealt. After combat, make the attack relentless assault, which is a new attack. It would be a second attack. Ah, okay. But because I, I canceled the effects, that does okay. not occur. Okay. So... That would have been good, oh, but okay. gotcha, I, gotcha. I just looked out and I got the Yomi on you. I was like, you're going to hit me big first. So I said, cancel whatever it is. And okay. for me, that was, I got, I got, I, all right. I okay. guessed so correctly. That, that is all that happened. Um, right? Yes. Can uh, they see this? Is, this? is this okay? That's fine. The discard isn't as important. Okay. And that was your second because you moved and then you yes. attacked? Yes. Okay. My turn. And I don't want Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're supposed to you're supposed to discard until you have seven. What is that? Is there a rule where you oh. only have seven cards? Or yes, if you have, have at the end of your turn, you discard down to seven. Let me check real quick. Uh, yes, at the end, if you have more than seven, discard down to seven. All right, now I have seven. So oh. I picked up a couple times. So. Okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, what am I gonna do? I have options. Be nice. I shan't. I am attacking Patrocles. Oh, you are, are you? Yes. Okay. So I think you've only drawn one card since the last time I attacked him, and the odds of drawing a defense he can use are low, but I guess not impossible. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here you go. So uh, nobody has immediately. Nobody has during. So one attack, two block, zero goes through. Patrocles wins the combat. Uh, after combat... I believe defenders' effects resolve first when things are done at the same time. Let me just check that because that's always um, defender resolves first. Okay, so what is Patrick Mine. Leeds' battle hardened? Choose a card in your discard pile and return it to your hand. Ooh. Okay. Well, you only got the one card. Yep. But that's good for you. That that was easy. Uh, for mine, draw one card. If you won the combat, draw two instead. I did not because I did not deal damage. Um, All right. And that's that. All right. That was my first um, action of the turn. Yes, it was.
<sighs> See, I'll do it again. I'll just go again. I'll hit him again. And I can't this time. Bingo. So, uh, little dragon, uh, during combat, if your hand is empty, the value is six instead. I still have cards in hand. Um, so two goes through. He takes two damage, and I believe he is defeated. He is. Bada boom. Um, so, like, you would think that's good, but also uh, your character starts taking damage once your deck is empty. So the idea of spending time and cards on attacking the sidekick instead of the hero can be um, can put you in real tight straits for defeating a hero. But um, I kind of did that with three cards, so I'm probably okay. Um, after combat, draw two cards. Oh, there's so many cards now. Um, and that is my second action. At the end of my turn, I may move one space, and I shall. Let me just scoot. Uh, your turn. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver. Okay. So I must pick up a card, and I must maneuver. One, two. So this okay. puts me in the same zone, right? Yes? Yes. I remember why you might want to be there. Yes, you do, right? Uh-huh. So that, that was my first move, and I'm going to attack. Yep. Let's see what we can do. Um... I shall oh, wait. That's not what the card I wanted to play. I'll let you take it back right now. Because I'm nice. Oh, we're playing. We're casual that's today. That's what I wanted to play. And, and after the move, I'll tell you why. All okay. Right? So I think... Well, wait. If you want to play a regular... You can't play a regular attack. You're not adjacent. You can only play that spear attack. Because it's not an attack. It's a scheme. Okay, but I I can't do that. If he was ranged, yes, you could make an attack. He's but not. He's, he's not. Like... Um, that is what is fancy about that scheme card, is it lets him make, essentially, a ranged attack. Which I actually don't get a chance oh. to block, which is even cooler. Because it's right. not an attack. So... So I can attack from there, though? You cannot attack from here. You can I play cannot. a scheme or maneuver. So I'm going to play a scheme. Okay. All right. Yeah. Schemes go face up because they are not attacks. There we go. Uh, okay. uh, are you going to that? No, not really. I mean, oh, I, I am occasionally, but... Yeah. I figured I would do that, um, but if I do have to do it, I should do that part of it. No, because all of my phones are currently cameras. Oh, okay. Um, if you want me to get my phone, you could do this quote on my phone. No, nah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I can just come upstairs. I mean, yeah, honestly, yell. Yeah. <laughs> Use the Italian telephone. <laughs> um, okay, spear right. throw. So uh, deal two damage. That four. just happens. Okay. So thirteen twelve. All right. Good. Uh, and I believe that is your second action. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. So now, wait. Explain to me. So. Yes. So this is in the zone because because we share color. the green. All right. Yes. But to attack, I would have to be this adjacent. Is adjacent. One gotcha. one black line away. Zone adjacent. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So like even these two completely different zones, but adjacent. Right. And I wanted to ask you something. So yeah. like I was gonna move here and here, but I can't move there. You right. Can't, you can't go from here to here. You no. can only go from here to here. Gotcha. Okay, the, that's why those arrows. Okay. Which actually, looking at this, the only way out of these inner four is here. Kind of so that okay. creates an interesting choke point. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah. Actually, if you get stuck here, you're kind of stuck. If you get to this one. Oh no no okay yeah I see the way out okay. Hey, let's see what happens. I'm gonna start by maneuvering. Maneuvering. Uh huh. We're going to maneuver. Uh, so I draw a card. And I'm going to step here. Um, action two. I'm attacking. Okay. If you couldn't guess. Mm 
Okay. Uh, Jeet Kune Do, high straight lead versus under Achilles helm. Uh, immediately, if uh, Patrocles is not defeated, uh, which he is, is so yeah. uh, that, doesn't, that really, doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, during combat, if the fighter started the turn in a different space, which he did, uh, the value of this card is five instead. So uh, five minus two, three damage goes through. Okay. After combat, gain one action. So this attack is over. Bruce Lee has one more action. Uh, I'm attacking. So this is one of the things Bruce Lee is very much about is um like linking a lot of actions together. Same, I feel like the same card. Okay, so pretty much the exact same thing happens. So you have a two, the immediately doesn't happen. Uh, I have a three, but it's a five because I moved. So five minus two, three goes through. I do not get an extra action this time. This is over. That was my last action. At the end of my turn, I may move one space. I do your turn. So that's the other, like, mean thing about Bruce Lee and why I think he's actually kind of overpowered. Because that ability of just one step at the end is against other melee combatants. Mm -hmm. That is so overpowered. Because, like, it if... The idea of ending with an attack means that you are ending, leaving yourself vulnerable to counterattack. He does not do that. He basically forces any melee-only opponent to have to movement at the beginning of their turn to, um, to make an attack. So he actually gets to control the flow of battle so much. Like, it is... That is, like, an over... Mm -hmm. that, I, I understand why they sold him by himself. Because he is kind of an overpowered fighter for that mechanic. Okay, so I'm going to maneuver. So I just threw my cards, so and now I'm going to go one, two. Okay. And then I'm going to attack. Makes sense. I will defend. Oh! Okay, you did it. You hit it with me right this time. So, um, one, block four, zero goes through. Uh, after combat defense, um, if you won the combat, choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. So I will do that. Get out of here. Uh, but your after combat is relentless assault. End. A key about these, this is specific to the latest set. Oh boy, where is the rule book for that one? But I'm not within range. I can't, I can't. So that is sort of the thing that they specify is that on these cars that have the like follow up attack, yeah. you, you make it regardless of if the result makes it a, a valid attack or not. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Second attack with one action. When you play a card, no, uh, the bonus is track. The bonus attack is triggered by the after combat effect of the first attack. If it is canceled by faint, for example, the bonus attack is not incurred. So that's what we had that first turn. Right. If the bonus attack triggers, resolve that attack like a normal attack between the same attacker and defender as if the attacker played the bonus attack as a new attack card. The bonus attack has a new name, value, and effect. The boost is the same. The bonus attack targets the same defender, even if they are no longer a valid target. If the defender is defeated during the first attack, there is no bonus. So even though I moved you away, that still triggers, and I still have to defend against you. Okay. So, so you have to defend with the new card? No. Right. So oh, that, really? that attack is over. Oh. This is discarded. It basically now plays as if you had played the three. So you're playing Relentless Assault 3. Um... I should have eaten the first one. I had a feeling I should have eaten the first one, and I chose not to. I should have eaten the first one. Um, 
Because now I'm going to eat the second one. No defense card. Three goes through. Bruce Lee takes three damage. One, two, three. I'm down to nine. All right. Now imagine if I really knew what I was doing. <laughs> this is diff this is uh, why this is difficult for me is because you have so many things you have to look at. So you have to remember what it is. So this is an attack. As you can tell, the first game, the first play, I put the word card down. Who can play it? So this is either my main character or his uh, sidekick. What happens during battle and what happens if there's an after battle? It's a lot. It's a lot for me to, to comprehend at once. I don't know how Nick can maintain all that information in his head. It's well, just... Because I grew up playing, you know, Magic the Gathering, which is worse. Which it is, is like is at least yeah, three I, this times is, as complex. No, as I'm game. I'm used to like Uno, just one big number <laughs> on the card. You know, wild. You know, um, you know, regular deck, fifty-two cards. They're all the same, just different. You know, you just have to recognize four different symbols. That's that's my style. You know, this is uh, this is intense for me. However, with that said, and being that we are raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. Learning something new like this does help keep your brain functioning. And, and, and some learning how to do something like this is challenging to your brain and actually helps to ward off uh, signs of dementia. So. Literally, uh, they call it uh, neuroplasticity. Basically, your brain literally hardens over time, mm -hmm. like scar tissue, basically. But... And as it hardens, that's what makes it harder to learn new things and yeah. like make new memories. But constantly learning new things and doing puzzles like playing games and stuff, mm -hmm. that does uh, help keep your brain literally soft. Yeah. Literally soft so, and flexible. Um, and, and I just made that connection now, so you're playing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't make that connection before. <laughs> All right, so my turn? No, my turn. Oh, your turn? Okay. You just hit me from all the way over here, okay. which was cool. It's like one of those trick shot videos. You throw the frisbee into the garbage can from the third floor balcony. Um, I'm going to maneuver. I must draw a card. I go one, two. Um, I'm going to play a scheme. Ooh. Like that. One inch punch, deal two damage. Ah. Uh, um, if this had defeated somebody, so like if I used it on a sidekick, it would come back to my hand. Not the case, so discard it. That's the end of my turn. I may move briefly one space. I do. See, it's so it is so strong for the basic system of this game to be able to just always start not adjacent. Okay. Or always end, not a two. So I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to pick up a card. All righty. And you come at going me? to no, do it? Um, really? Um, 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 um. No, I'm not going to do that. I am going to do a scheme, though. I'm okay. Deal you two damage. Yep. Because I am. We are in the same zone. I am zone. in the zone. I am down to there seven. Really? Yes. What did you start with? Uh, fourteen. Really? Like I said, he's a little squishier. Yeah, you started at eighteen, so yeah. we were just at uh, twelve each a second ago. Um, and then I ate the three, and then you threw a spear at me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That um, was my two moves. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to maneuver and not actually move. And then I'm going to maneuver again and not actually move. End of turn, I'm going to step back one. <laughs> That's my turn. Go ahead. So I just drew cards that turn, basically. Why, I question. Well, considering the other <laughs> options are scheme or attack, All I right. bet I didn't have any of those. Uh, Which, um, like, that's the interesting part, right? Because, because, like, the very specific, like, you have such a small pool of abilities and such a small, like, you want to attack your opponent to win, so you want to be doing that basically as often as you can, as efficiently as you can. So if you're not doing that, that actually tells you the opponent 
like a very vague idea of what's going on in my hand. That's true. That's true. It's cool. It's cool. All right. This game um, is, is cool. All right. So I'm going to maneuver. Maneuver. I'm going to do it every time. I'm going to maneuver. Okay. It's like in um, Back to the Future when he crashes into that maneuver truck. The maneuver truck. <laughs> that was a funny scene. All right. So here we go. Here this we is go. why my humor One, is the way that it is. Because you always laugh at my stupid jokes. Now I am adjacent. Yes, yes you are. Hello. And I am going to. I'm going to attack. Thank you. I'm going to defend. Okay. Skirmish versus be like water. No immediately, no during. So four minus three. Bruce Lee takes one damage down to six. Okay. Uh, okay. Defender after combat first. Choose a Jeet Kune Do card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. I do have one. It goes into my hand. Um, and mine is... Skirmish after combat. If you won the combat, which you did, choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. So that could be yourself if you just want to get out yep. of there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Smart, right? I got that. Um one, two. Okay, let me take these back, right? Yes. Or discard. Yeah. All right. All right, that's my turn. Go ahead. I'm going to start with a maneuver. I draw... I'm going to draw a card. Right. I'm going to step up. All right? Yeah. I'm going to play a scheme. No. Nunchuck. All of Bruce Lee's attacks this turn are plus one value, gain one action. I still have one action left. Oh, I didn't get any damage? Nope, no damage there. Okay. But it's adding damage to my attack cards. Okay. Um, I am attacking. I am defending. Uh, okay. Jeet Kune Do versus Achilles Heel. Uh, no, after, no immediate, no during. So three minus four, no damage goes... Uh, sorry, because of... No, I'm going to leave this over here for the moment. Because of Nunchuck, it's four versus four. Still doesn't go through. Um, after combat, uh, defend, uh, defending first. If you lost the combat, uh, which you didn't, your opponent gains one action. So you want it I don't get an action. My after combat, Bruce Lee may swap spaces with the opposing fighter and then gain one action. Um, I won't swap spaces. I will gain one action. I have one action remaining. Uh, yeah. I am attacking. Okay, Achilles heel versus uh, mm -hmm. Jeet Kune Do, corkscrew finger jab. No immediate, no during. Four, or four, because of nunchuck, four right. attack, minus four defense, so no damage goes through. Wow. Wow, rude. Um, and I yours. shuffled my cards. I don't know why they came out like this. Um, uh, Bruce Lee's after combat. Deal one damage to the opposing fighter, so you take one regardless, mm -hmm. uh, down to nine, I believe. Uh, gain one action. So I have one action remaining. Oh my. Um, I'm attacking. And I have no defense. There we go. Uh, Jeet Kune Do, high straight lead. During combat, if either fighter started the turn in a different space, which Bruce Lee did, the value of this card is five instead. Um, Nunchuck, plus one, so six. <gasps> Undefended, goes through. Six, you said? I deal six damage. Yeah, six. Okay. All right. So you're down to three? Yep. All right. Um, after combat, gain one action. Oh, my gosh. So that's the other thing about Bruce Lee. He only has oh my gosh. five red attack cards. Okay. 
all of them give you an action and you have ways to get them back into your hand. So basically, if you get all of them, you can put them all together. And I had three in my hand when I started this turn. Wow. And I attacked. And I have no defense. Uh, little dragon, if your hand is empty, the value of this card is six. It is not. Uh, so two plus the one from Nunchuck, because it is still an attack card. Um, that's three damage. Game over. Actually, hang on. It might... Attacks, not attack cards. Yeah, so that's three damage. Game one Good. goes to Bruce Good. Lee. That, that I ha holding on to this uh, was um, holding on to this and getting the three Jeet Kune Do cards. That was just like, oh, that turned the game around. Yeah, because I was down to six two. You started that that match or that turn above me. Yeah, yeah, I uh, yeah, and I didn't get. I, I don't know. It's see, I. So when I looked at the which character I wanted to be, I just looked at some of his cards. I didn't look at all of them, mm -hmm. which maybe I should have because. Is it? But it doesn't matter because it took because it, it's a it's the turn of the cards. Like I got so many of the same cards, even though I shuffled them. Yeah. So I mean. But also, like you, and I didn't get nearly all the schemes because you have a sidekick. You have like some split up cards. Bruce yeah. Lee can use every Bruce Lee card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, not bad. All right. All right. So, that's, folks, that's that's how unmatch goes. So that's match one. It is two fifty. Wow. Okay. So we got more to go. All right. So Bruce Lee won match one. We'll move all of these aside. Um. Now let's go on to match two, which we're doing that uh, here in the was this the Hanging Gardens? I forget what this is called. Oh, let me make sure it's lined up right. You want it? Uh, yeah, right about there. Right about there. Okay. Oh. Now then, we have two cards left. <sighs> oh! Sherlock Holmes versus Yenenga. I'm, I'm, for this card, I am very happy that they included a pronunciation guide in the instructions. Oh, there you go. Um, okay, so what do these cards do? Uh, Yeninga is uh, a ranged hero, can move two. If Yeninga would take damage, you may assign any amount of that damage to one or more archers in her zone instead. You may not assign more damage to her archer than their remaining health. So basically... Um, Yenenga is this one. It looks like I'm two again. Uh, but Yenenga gets two archers who are sidekicks with two HP each. So they start on two. They take damage. They go to one. Any more damage, and they're gone. Um, and they get to start in my zone. But basically, right, they so get to um, red shirt for her. If um, So if she would take damage, as long as there's one in her zone, they get to take some amount of that damage. All right. And so I'm, I'm Sherlock Holmes, and it says effects on Holmes and Dr. Watson cards cannot be canceled by an opponent. Um, but effects on any cards can be canceled. So that means if it's something only Holmes, Holmes or, or only, only Watson, Watson could do. But if it says any. But if yeah. either of them could do it, then it can be canceled. Yes. And I have Sherlock, where's my number one space that I said? I thought it was just over here. Uh, yeah, that's it? one. So here is Sherlock, and here is Watson, my good man. Which, again, this is a big board, so you can have players three and four as well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, should we use a – no, for some reason it's balanced, so players one and two go there, and it works. This is from um, Restoration Games, who uh, – in one way or another, uh, comes from the minds that brought us Risk Legacy, which uh, y'all may have heard of, um, and a number of other legacy games, and Downforce, and Dinosaur Tea Party, and, and the return of Fireball Island. Uh, I believe they're working on a Dark Power board game. They do a lot of good stuff. Uh, this is one of their original, not uh, like remake. They redid Thunder Road, so you know they're good in my book. Um, but they're really well-designed games, honestly. Like, I won't lie, sometimes I don't think they are 
the most fun games. Like, go, like, like you, you have even, to focus on them. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're having fun with it. You know, yeah. We're, yeah, you let me pick up cards and, you know, put them back. And, you know, I have to ask a hundred questions. But, um, but it's just, if you're doing serious, I could, because you have to focus so much on, on, on. There's so much to read. On the cards. And so many little do. fiddly interactions. Yes. And so, so, see, I prefer a game where you can not sit back, not, you know, knock back and just like, you know, listen to music, talk to your friends. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Why, I mean, why didn't we just play Dragon Castle for this section? Yeah. That game or, is so good. Yeah. Or one of the um, or Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly deal? Mar oh, you sorry. just kicked. Sorry. Oh, boy. Mon uh, Mario Monopoly. Uh, uh, we're fine. Hey, listen, we're working and, on every space in this house is borrowed, basically. Yeah. And and I just wanted to show you the back of this card if you're familiar with Sherlock, uh twenty two one B, I believe that's his address. Uh yes. That's his address. So I mean, look at how nice that card is. I mean you can't you can't fault the artwork on this. Really Which I, I will say, um I believe they get like a different artist to do each deck and they do the entire deck. So that's wow. why all of the art looks incredible and looks consistent through a deck yeah it's but beautiful. the art from different it's decks beautiful. can look wildly different from each other it's so good um and all the credits are in the instruction book that i read how do we play this game who goes first you're in the one spot you go first. well oh but but you won right so do you want to go first eh. all right so i'm going to now, I've never played Yenenga before, so I have no idea how to play her. Ooh, okay. I have played Holmes before, and I did very well with Holmes last time. Uh -huh. um, all right, so what I'm going to do is let me maneuver. Okay. Um, I'm going to move. Let's see which one. All right, so now what are these little, does this mean I can only move that way? Uh, what does that so mean? That that is that's, the, a oh, that's the way to attack plus that one? That is the attack icon. So that means if you attack from here to here, add one to the value of the attack. Oh, okay. Oh, that's uh, interesting. But it doesn't affect defenses, and it doesn't work going this way. So the idea of right, this board right, is okay. high ground. So, you know, most of these are like if you're at the top of the staircase, you get an attack bonus against the bottom of the staircase. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to. It's just trying to parse like one. the 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 shape of this ground. It's almost like trying to read an Escher painting. And two illustration. Was he a painter or just like a? Uh, uh, well, more of an illustr illustrator. He did um, prints. He was illustrative. Oh, like Purple Rain. Yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. You immediately <laughs> said yeah. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go here. All right. So that's my first move. My second move. You know, I don't think I've ever played this as a team game. Oh, that would drive me insane. Maybe once. Well, I mean, for for yourself, it's, you know, stays basically the right. same. It's just that three people get to take turns in between uh, each of your turns. Um, so here, I'm going to play a scheme. Okay. And it's a long scheme. So it says, Okay. choose an opponent and name a value. So I am going to name the value three. Okay. Your opponent must choose and discard one card matching that attack or defense value. Their hero takes damage equal to the boost value of the discarded card. If they do not have a card of the named value, they must reveal their hand instead. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to take damage, and I get to decide how much damage I take within the constraint of the attack or defense value must be three. Also, I lose that card. Wow. Um, okay. You, na you named three, right? Yes. Then I will reveal Stallion Charge. Um, its value is three, matching what you said. Its boost value is three, so I take three damage, coming down to twelve. 
and that's discarded. That's even worse. Okay, that's my two moves. Your turn. Is that? Wow, that's really that green, huh? Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. What's that? That space has yeah. the green from over here. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Um. All right, so I'm going to maneuver. I must draw a card. Uh, cool. Cool. Um, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I am moving. Where am I moving? I can only move up to two each. I'm going to move one, two. I'm going to move one, two. I'm going to move one, two. Uh, that was my first action. Second action. Uh, this archer is attacking Holmes. <gasps> um, because they're ranged, so as long as they share a zone, they can they can attack. Which is why I was so sort of dumbfounded that 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 one specific space you stopped in is part of that zone. Okay, uh, no immediate, no during. So four attack versus three defense. Uh, so one damage goes through to Holmes. Draw. Yes. Uh, after combat, defense first. Uh, study methods. If you won the combat, look at your opponent's hand. You did not win the combat because you took damage. Um, skirmish. After combat, if you won the combat, Choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. Who would I want to move? Well, it's either you or me, or specifically that archer. Um, sure. No. Yeah. Go here. That's it. And that is my turn. That was a move and an action. Or a move and attack. <clears throat> so Sherlock is melee, Holmes is ranged. Or Watson is ranged. ranged. Which means he can shoot... He can shoot anything matching the zone with him. And that can be with a, a Watson or any attack card. Which is weird that you can say any attack card, but that's not what that means. Um, I respect the design of this game. I don't know, always know if I would call it fun. <laughs> Because like like, like even right. even at the so, end of the last game, right? Like when you get when when you're playing characters who don't have sidekicks, and it's just one figure on one figure, it does kind of come down to like, okay, how much does the board actually matter? Because it's just like, are you adjacent or are you one movement away? You know, sometimes it it, it can differ, but some matchups <laughs> are, are kind of right. really so, rote. Um. Hey! Oh, no, wait, we're not raising money for children today. Well, children with Alzheimer's or dementia? No, usually it's, it's, it's older. You can get it younger, like 20s, 30s. Oh, good, but not like but not, not, under 14. Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm like, aware of. I bet it could happen in severe circumstances, yeah. but... Okay, so you don't well, have to say we're raising money for the children. You put me in a difficult spot. I put baby in the corner. You did. Sherlock and baby now. Sherlock, Sherlock is the latest Tumblr baby girl. <laughs> no, he's not right. He was a he was a, a, a cucumber bumblebee character. So that happened a while ago. Two. All right, so that's my first move. My second move, I'm gonna scheme 
and this is Watson gets to administer health aid, so I can put him in an adjacent, and Holmes gets one health back. Okay. And I draw one card. Yeah. You know what I said. So he goes adjacent to Holmes. Yeah. So any any, ad any adjacent, adjacent, so adjacent. black on. Yes. yes. Okay. Um. All right. And Holmes I, gets a help. He gets a help. Yep. Back to the sixteen. All right. And, and I draw one. Wait, you only took one. Yeah, you only took one damage before him. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And then you get a card. I yeah. Get a card. All right. All right. So basically, done. kind of back to where we started. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm going to maneuver. I must draw a card. And let's look at like one. One, two. One, two. And then I'm going to maneuver again. So I must draw a card. Um, and I guess one, two. One, two. That's enough. Your turn. All right. So. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to use her is the thing. I'm going to maneuver. So I'm gonna go one, two. Hello. And uh, Watson baby is gonna come follow me. Watson baby. One, two. Having an awful good home. <laughs> Watson baby. Wait. That's All right. And wrong now time move my second move. And is an attack. attack. Who? Which? Who? But from. From where I am, adjacent, aren't I? From holes? Yeah, from holes. Yes. Okay. Am I? Am I allowed to do that? You, you yes. can. You can do that. Yes. Um, but you know, you could be shooting somebody with Watson. No, actually, you couldn't be shooting someone with Watson. Never mind. Um, really, <clears throat> really, really, really. All right, fine. I'll defend. I've thought it over. Oh. Okay, jeez. Um, no immediate. I have a during. Uh, during combat, for each zone the opposing fighter is in, increase the value of this card by one. You are in one zone, so this is a four. Uh, five versus four, I take one damage. I'm down to 11. Oh, you're with my blood in this one. Uh, after combat, move Holmes up to three spaces. Okay, did my dirty deed. I'm going to go one, two. And then just peace out. One, two. That's oh. it. And I'm going to be sorry I did that. Y yes? Oh, right. She can, she can slough off damage. I forgot about that. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Instead of taking all of it on her, I'm going to move one of it over to him. Okay? You good with that? Yeah. All right. My turn. First action. Uh, Archer attacking Holmes. Because they're both in gray, so that's allowed. Um... That one. Ooh, that's a nice card. Okay. Um, no immediate. You have a during. Uh, you may change the. It does say printed, right? Yes. You may change the printed value of the opponent's card to its boost value. Um, the card does not have a boost value to the zero. So. You could make it a two instead of a one if you want. No, it's okay. okay. Um, all right, so uh, one uh, versus three, nothing goes through. So you win the combat. But after combat, 
Uh, move the opposing fighter up to four spaces. Your opponent discards one card. So you discard a card, and I'm going to move you um, one, two, three, four. Just sort of push you around that whole circle. Second action. I am attacking from Yenenga to Holmes. Okay. Uh, <coughs> nobody has immediate. Uh, Jaws of the Beast has a during. For each zone the opposing fighter is in, increase the value of this card by one. So <coughs> Holmes is in three zones. Oh, man. So that, this is a, a six. Card, yeah. Um, yeah. That's why I was kind of mad to blow it on the defense before. Um, yeah, so six uh, minus three. Holmes takes three damage. Okay. Uh, Counterpunch. After combat. If Holmes is adjacent to the opposing fighter, deal two damage to that fighter. Uh, so I'm attacking from here, so they're not adjacent, so no damage from that. Uh, that's my turn. <coughs> okay. Right, that, that was an okay hit. That worked out. <laughs> Had to push Holmes all the way around the circle. All right. Um, I'm going to do a scheme. Okay. It says, choose an opponent. Home swaps spaces with their hero. Deal one damage to that hero. Okay, so the hero is the <coughs> figurine. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so these are going to swap spaces. Yeah. You get one damage. And it takes one damage. She takes one damage. All right, so that's that, right? Okay. And then I'll maneuver. Maneuver, maneuver. And let's see what you want to do. One, two, and do one, two. All right, good. Okay. Um, I'm going to maneuver. I take a card. And I'm going to go one, two, one. Second action. I'm going to maneuver and I'm not going to move. Okay. <laughs> All right, so for my first action, I'm going to do a scheme. Okay. I'm going to move Washington Holmes into an adjacent. Who's adjacent? This, this guy? or this? How about we put him over here? Okay. So he gets one health back. Yep. And I draw a card. Yep. Right, so that's done. And now I'm going to maneuver. <sighs> I'm not going to lie. I don't like my chances in this match now. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, you're just running away from me, huh? Go ahead. I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to go one, one, two, one, two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to attack Holmes. I can attack Holmes from Yenenga. Oh! Oh, you did it to me! It's exactly what I did to you in the first attack. <laughs> all right, immediate. Cancel all effects. So my after combat volley will not happen. <laughs> oh, good one. Um, so I didn't even read that. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was my only defense. <laughs> oh, was it now? Oh, thank you for telling me. Um, 
Okay, that being said, three minus two, one damage goes through to Holmes. And the after combat does not happen. Oh, that would have been so good. Uh, and that was my second action. Your turn. Okay. And I still one, two, three, four, still under seven cards. Okay. So I'm going to maneuver. Uh, Rude. Um, <laughs> Do. Let's see. Let's do one, two. Let's do one, two. Okay. And I'm going to maneuver again. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do one, two, one, two. Interesting. Okay. Go ahead. You're up. I'm up. Sure. I'm going to maneuver. Huh. See, this is where the thinking comes in. Yeah, way too much of that. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm going to move here and here. Action two. Yenenga attacking Holmes. Yes. Making sure I can actually do that. Yes. Okay. No immediate, no during. Three minus three. No damage goes through. Holmes successfully defends. After combat defense. If you won the combat, look at your opponent's hands. All right, fine. No one won. Wasn't it a tie? If if my attack fails, the def if the attack does not deal damage, the defender has one. Oh, you get to look at my hand. Good luck understanding it. I barely understand my hand. Pretty good, so. Oh, very pretty. Okay. So I, I have some. I don't, I don't know there. if it did a whole lot of good, but yeah. All right. So and then what else? Um. End That's the end of yours. Now after my combat. Move Yenenga up to five spaces. She oh. may move through opposing fighters. Then deal one damage to each opposing fighter she moved through. So I'm going to oh. go one, two, three, four, five. Holmes takes one damage. All right, that was still good, even though... I mean, one damage ain't much. Yeah, but um, it's... It, it adds to it, takes yeah. away from it. Yeah. I mean, at this point, if I'm winning, it's by nickels and dimes, you know? Right. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I just looked at your hand now. I can't even remember what you had. <laughs> because my first move is going to, my first action is going to be this one. This okay. The, um, confirm suspicion. So uh -huh. I'm going to choose a value of um, three. Okay. And I have to discard it and take that boost on it? Uh, it says, yeah, your opponent must choose and. Discard. Oh, so you have two of them in your hand. See, I'm terrible at this game. It says, um, <laughs> choose an opponent and name a value, which is three. It says your opponent must choose and discard one card matching that attack or defense value. The hero, Their hero takes damage equal to the boost value of the discarded card. If they do not have a card of that named value, then they must reveal their hand to you. Right. So I do have a three. It's a prize volley. I take three damage, but I'm going to take one, two, uh, and three. Yes. Okay. Um, and that was only your first action, I believe? Yes. Or did you maneuver? No, that was my first okay. action. I didn't maneuver yet. So I'm going to... 
I'm not going to maneuver now. Um, one, two, one, two. Go ahead. Okay. Um, going to play a scheme. Uh -oh. One with the land. Move each of your fighters up to two spaces. Each of your fighters recovers one health. Draw one card. So I'm going to do like one, two, one, one, two, recover a health, recover a health. That's a good card. Recover a health up to ten and draw one card. That was a good card. That's not bad. That's actually why I, I split some of the damage up to, to make use of it, right? Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, that dude, I might have done my move wrong. Um, I'm going to maneuver again. And one, two, one. End of turn. Oh. See, Bruce Lee, I can understand. Get up on him, hit him hard, step away. A lot of this, like, there's maneuvering going on, and like th that's kind of the thing that gets me about this game that makes it hard to think about is mm -hmm. like you don't have any just attacks, or like only certain characters do. Like Beowulf has just attack, Bruce Lee has like just attack plus a bit extra. But like a lot of the cards in in Yenenga's deck are like it it will it ha it is an attack, but actually the main purpose of this card is to like force movement or to do something fancy, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so I just did my first action, which was a maneuver. maneuver. Now I'm going to attack. You sure are. I am. Um, yeah, all right. Depending. To Holmes to Yenenga? Yes. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Uh, no immediate, no during. Five minus two. Take three damage. I'll take one. I'll take two. I'll take three down to nine. I'm getting my butt whooped. Uh, after combat, defending first. If the opposing fighter is adjacent to Yenenga, deal two damage to that fighter. So Holmes takes two damage. Hmm. Down to ten? Yeah. So ten to nine. This is kind of close. Okay. Um, and yours is move Holmes up to three spaces. Yep. Yep. Um, so we can go one, two, three. Okay, that's it. Okay. Hmm. All right, that's my two moves. Yep. 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 The game lasts longer when we know what we're doing. <laughs> yep. Well, so I, I think it's also this matchup, right? Like yeah. these cards, like. Sherlock is actually a deck about like he's pretty powerful. He has some powerful moves, I think. But a lot of it is a, so like the card that you keep using about like name of value yeah, and yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you just say seven, yeah, there is really no card with a seven printed on yeah. it. So you can just force that opponent to so then what, show you, you their hand. hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At which point you use another card that. Uh, yeah, depends yeah, on naming yeah. a card in their hand, and then you have just read their hand. So there's this like two. But then step... you have to memorize their cards in addition to your own, which is <laughs> confusing to me. But but that's the thing. If you make it a two step process, one is get to see their hand. Step two is use that information you just looked at. Like yeah, you probably yeah. knew you were going to do that. When I, you I need a one. notepad to go. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. He is. <laughs> He, he is a, a deck about... I just did that and I couldn't remember uh -huh. your hand. Like I had to look at your hand for some reason. And but like that's that the thing. Happen. He is a deck about like thinking two or three steps ahead. Yeah, he of. is. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of what I like. That's why I like him too. Yeah, he's he's a good character. I like him. 
I played with him before, yeah. So whose turn? I think it's, it's your my turn. turn. Yes. Take Step your one. card back. All oh, right. Step one is I'm going to maneuver. So I take a card. I'm going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. One, two. Let's kind of pin you in there. Oh, interesting. Uh, step two. I'm attacking from Yenenga to Holmes. Uh, oh boy. All right. I have an immediately. You may return a defeated archer to a space in the opposing fighter zone. I have no defeated archers. If you do, that archer is now the attacker. If you don't, gain one action. So I will have one more action after this. All right. That's a good card. That's a good card. Uh, yeah, so like if it's defeated, mm -hmm. you're actually getting them back. And then they'll come back at full health. Plus, since their health is like a buffer for her, it's kind of like she's getting more health. Mm -hmm. So it's neat. Um, you have during. You may change the printed uh, value of the opponent to its boost value. So you can make it a three instead of a three. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. You sure you don't want this? All right. Um, so three... Minus three, no damage goes through, um, and end of attack. Yeah. Uh, but I have one more action now, and Yenenga is attacking Holmes. Oh, I was hoping you didn't have a defense left. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. No, but this time you have the. Yes, and you didn't. You didn't paint it this time. Uh, so, oh. right, three minus three, you could swap the three for a three. Um, you don't, I guess, no, or you no, do, no. doesn't matter. Um, three blocks three, uh, nothing goes through. After combat, <coughs> so your defense is discarded. This is a new second attack. It is volley, it is a three. So and you have a second chance to defend it. Which I cannot. So three damage goes through two homes. See, I, I, so playing the one that gives me an action was like, I am basically burning this attack to give the double attack a better chance of going through. Uh, and that was my second, third action, third, yeah, technically. That's true. Okay. Um, yes, that is the end of my turn. Right, I'm going to maneuver. Um, okay, let's see. How about we do one, two over there. We're going to do one, two over there. Okay. And I'm going to maneuver again. One, two, Two. Anyone talking to us? No? Uh, no, not right now. I just want to make sure everything's still up and running, you okay. know? By the way, people can hear us, right? I have to imagine Joe would tell me if uh, yeah. that weren't the case. All right, what'd you do? You're over there now. I did two maneuvers, yeah. Thank you. The Italian telephone, hey. There you go. Um, right, go I guess I'm maneuvering since I just drew a card. Okay. Um, yeah, huh? Um, I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. And then I'm going to attack from Yenenga to Holmes. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to lay the damage on. Faint. Oh, it's a good one. All right. So mine is during, but it's canceled. Uh, so three minus two. Holmes takes one damage. That's the end of my turn. We're getting through the deck. My discard is almost as tall as my deck now. Yeah. All right. Um, gonna maneuver. Uh, 
Uh, uh. No. One, two. I want to attack that guy. Can I attack him? Yes. Right? Because Watson is ranged. <clears throat> you moving home? Uh, no, I'm going to leave him. Okay. So You're attack attacking? This guy, whoever he is. He's an archer. An archer. No defense. No defense? No defense. Okay. What do I get? Uh, three goes through. He will be defeated. Yeah, hey. All right. Um, you have an after combat. If you win the combat, you did. Your opponent draws one card. If you lost the combat, you draw two cards. So I get a card. Thank you. I guess. All right. That was my first move? No. I no, you good. moved All and right. then you attacked. I'm good. Yes. Um... <clears throat> So if, if someone runs out of cards they every time they would draw a card, they instead take a damage. Gotcha. If you go to draw a card and you cannot, you take it. But damage. if I have no cards in my hands, I just keep picking up one uh, on I have to maneuver. Yes, you have to maneuver. Maneuver is basically like refocus, regroup, okay. gather yourself. Um and then gets attacking homes. I'm going for it. I'm just Uh, okay, nobody has an uh, immediate or during. So, three minus three, uh, nothing goes through. After combat, defender. If you won the combat, you did. Your opponent draws one card. All right, thank you. Um, my after combat. Move Yenenga up to five spaces. She may move through opposing fighters and deal one to each one she moves through. Yeah, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and that's it. So Holmes takes one damage, uh, and second action. That was only your first action. That was only my first action. An attack that has a move in it is very powerful. Like the way you were doing a uh, game is a foot, where you hit him and then run away. Like that. Like that's the thing. Um, Bruce Lee gets to do that like automatically with any attack. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. everyone else, it is very powerful, but it has to be part of the attack. Um, what's your damage? I am at nine. Really? And Yenenga is attacking Holmes. No attack. No defense. Really? No defense. I got bad news. I believe that means the game is over. Okay. Because three goes through, second attack, any defense? No. Nope. Three more goes through. That's it. Whoo! Good. That was, that was a good game. That, that was, was a fun. good game. That was a good game. That was really I, I didn't use Watson as I should have, but I didn't have any of his attack cards, really. They're all in here. I think there's a lot more. No, not really. No, Dr. Watson, see? He had a fix, fixed up point in a changing age. It says, if doc, after combat, if Dr. Watson is adjacent to Holmes, they each recover one health. Uh, he had a count. Oh, no, that's Holmes. What else did Watson have? Service revolver, five. That yes, was, just and there's no there's no special on this card. When we're talking yeah. about a just attacks, we're talking about Watson has a gun. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, yeah. it's not a smart. It's not a triple yeah, thought I card. Mean, it's I just like I, gun. <laughs> I didn't have any of it. I just started using him. I should have used him more. All yeah. right, but no, like you said, we got pretty far through that. I thought you were going to kick my butt, honestly. Like the like, I was just kind of like. I was like, okay, I have a bunch of attack cards. I'm just going to bet on running you out of the fences. Is that me? That's yours. That um, was good. That like, was I, didn't good get, I didn't get to use this one, um, which is basically if an archer is in a, in a zone that uh, Yenenga is not in, they yeah. get stronger. So I think that because of your gaming experience, like with Magic the Gathering, which I never even got. I barely on, get it still, yeah. But... Um, but you know about – you really strategize. I, I don't. Like, the first time I used the fame card, I didn't even know what it did. I just – it was just sort of the – I just looked at the little corner it said defense, and I that's all I used. Yeah. I mean, I don't – sometimes I don't even read it through because I – mean, I mean, that's the thing. It's very much about, you know, learning to recognize synergies. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 
Pick your last fighter. Hey! Ooh, little red versus the raptors. Oh my goodness. So why this forest is full of raptors, I don't know. Worse than that, we're fighting in a mansion? We're fighting in the Baskerville Manor. Um, so how the raptors got into the manor, I don't know. Through the attic, of course. I get, so, okay, here's the gimmick with this board. You see the little, like, lock and magnifying glass yeah. things? These are secret passages throughout the house. So any of these white lines connect to any of the other white lines. Oh, So you can right. move from the corner to the On center. On your maneuver? Paper. Yes, as, as a... As a as I, a maneuver, I think it also can. Oh, you have the um rule book for this set, but I it I might know? also count as a Jason. Don't. Have over here. No? no. I, I thought you, you had the, the cobble and whatever box. No, I, you took it from me. I put it took it off the table anyway. Here's Jurassic Park. Here's Beowulf. Here's Legends. Oh, there it is. I forget if it counts as adjacent for attacks or just for movements. Let me see. Um, so if you're saying if I'm, if you're attacking me, I can run through the door and avoid the attack? The attack? Um, no, so like if I'm standing here and yeah. you're standing here, I cannot punch you through the secret passage. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um, can move uh, as with any other movement, um, not considered adjacent for any other purpose. Large figures cannot move us through a secret passage. There are no large figures in these sets. I have ordered the set that has the large figure in it. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk? Nope. Oh, that, that'd be a good one. Oh, that'd be a good set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't um, know which one. What is it? It's the T-Rex from the other Jurassic Park oh, set. Oh, okay. All right. Which is going to be cool, because when that set comes in, we will be able to play three Raptors versus one T-Rex and have an all-dinosaur match. Yeah, we do see these uh, these uh, dinosaurs. They're, the Raptors are really cool looking. I was going to play with them, but that's three of them. you got to move around the board, um, and I, I couldn't do that. It's it's a little much, but it's actually not that bad. I've played with them maybe I mean, I guess it's more. like when you have uh, have a sidekick or two, you know? Yeah. So, okay, so raptors are a little interesting. Um, raptors. We have look at raptor. How, look at how cute. Raptor and raptor. Look so they are interesting because they are like one character with three heroes. Every other character we have has one hero and everyone else is sidekicks to mm -hmm. them. So this character is only defeated when all three go down. You cannot, like, take down the main one because they're all the main one. Gotcha. Uh, that being oh. said, they only start with seven health each. Oh, okay. So they, oh, but that's all... still 14. I mean, uh, 21. 21, yeah. That's 21. But so you basically know, you're going to kick my ass. Well, what, what do you got? You got 14 and 9, so yeah. that's 23. Yeah. Uh, all right, all that's told. true. Yeah. Um, their special ability is uh, Raptors add one to the value of each of their attack cards for each of your other Raptors adjacent to the defender. So that basically means, um, let's use Bruce Lee as an example. Uh, like, if I attack like this, it's normal. If I have this one adjacent, then it's plus one to the attack because they're basically teaming up. Okay. They're 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 kind of a swarm character. Okay. They like they like to move and attack together. Um, All right. And what did you find out about the rooms? Can we? You can move through these as right. another adjacent. That's it. You can't punch through them. They they don't do anything right. for so, attack. So and that's on your maneuver. Right? Yes. Okay. So I could if I'm here and my move is two, I could go one, and then end up over there two, or end up over or, here. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. Um, where are our numbers? Hey, I'm two. So the, the I place number, them uh, like sidekicks. So they really see. are. Uh, one. Oh, there it is. I'm going to have my three dinosaurs here. They each have a health dial. Which is funny because the way that you tell which one is which is you have to look at the the icon matches the... Um, oh, okay. 
the pose of a model because they're all named Raptor. Which is also funny because a lot of their cards, um, oh no, all of their cards just say any. Okay. okay. I was like, I thought they all said Raptor and that technically means any of them could do it, but no, nope, they say stuff. They say any. Um, okay, and I got no sidekick tokens. I just got the three. Oh, right. Starting hand. That would help. And so I ordered the other Jurassic Park set, but it was an add-on because I kickstarted. They are doing a uh, co-op version of this game. Yeah. So basically, um, that'll be like there is a boss monster who just has an automatic deck of actions that we draw from each turn, and then we work together against that boss. So I think that'll be pretty fun. Fight us. Oh, you a told me about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. You're the one. You go first. Okay. Oh, what's Little Red's deal? Tell the audience. Little Red. Um, okay, what's she say? Bring, bring the card. Yeah. So Little Red says, resolve an effect on a card you play if the symbol next to the effect matches the item in your basket. At the start of the game, place Little Red's basket in your discard pile. I'm not really sure exactly what's that, what that means. But I do have the Huntsman, and the Huntsman is ranged. Ooh. Which is a good thing. I guess he also just um, has it red is two moves and um she has fourteen health and the huntsman has nine. So All right. and this is a basket. And there's a bunch of stuff in the basket, which I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how that resolve an effect on a card you play if the symbol next to the effect matches the item in your basket. So basically, your basket is your discard pile. Okay. Um, and every card you have also has a special symbol on it. That's right. That's one of Red's gimmicks. Um, so when that, whatever symbol is on top of your pile yeah. will oh, right, right, add right. Okay. extra effects to gotcha. certain cards. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Right. And right. some right. cards, like the one you start with, the reason you have the basket card and it starts in your discard pile because it's a wild card. It could be any one of them. <clears throat> All right. So. Um, All right, match three. Let's go. How, how are we? <laughs> oh, hey, 340. We're. Okay. So, wow. We actually, we're going to run over a little bit. Yeah, on this so for, well, I don't know. you got three raptors that coming after little red. and uh, You've got and, the huntsman who apparently has a gun um, or throws axes real well. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to maneuver my first action here. Um, let's see, let's do one, two, and let's do one, two. All righty, and so when you're ranged, what does that mean? You can shoot from any spot. You don't have to be. Do you have to be in the zone? You have to. You can shoot anywhere in the zone. That you're in the zone. In. So okay. because you're on the purple and the green, you could attack any of the purple no, spaces no, any, and, or any, any of the green. Degrees. All right. So I'm going to maneuver again. I think I'm gonna stay right there. I'm gonna red one. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna maneuver. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess move each up to three. Let's go. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello. Second action. I didn't think this far ahead. Ugh. Uh, we're attacking the huntsmen from the one in the corner, specifically.
What's he got? Nine health? Let's see if I can just eviscerate him instantly. Okay. Uh, no immediate, no during. So three minus two. Huntsman takes one damage. Uh, after combat, defender. So because your wild card is showing in your basket, this takes effect. Uh, deal three damage to the opposing fighter. Okay. Oof. One, two, three. That one is down to four. My after combat. If one or more of your raptors is adjacent to the opposing fighter, gain one action. One or more of your raptors is adjacent to the opposing fighter. How could you make an attack if that were not the case? Oh, maybe if you had, like, moved me? With or the, with or, if, I, or if I was ranged. Well, it's or, an attack, or, or, so oh, I would not attack. be able to use you it. Wouldn't, to... You wouldn't be able So I think if, like, you pieced out as a, the result of your after combat. Oh, maybe. Then this wouldn't trigger. Um, but it does trigger, so I get another action. Uh, did you take a damage? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, this is did they see how this is how the damage is. So I was at nine, and then you just go down. Little spinners. A little spinners. Um, and again, the artwork is fantastic. See the artwork huntsman. is so good on everything. The huntsman. So there's the axe. And um, little red, just says little red, and it's just old flowery. Very nice, very nicely done. Um, attacking, same arrangement. Uh, uh, no, you know what? Attacking from from this one, this time, over the shoulder, buddy. In case he gets counter hit again. All right. Um. No immediate. One during. Uh, your opponent discards one random card. Add its boost value to this card's value. So present me the backside of your hand. And I will pick one without knowing what it is. Uh, simulating randomness. How about this one? One. So it's going to add one damage. The one boost value goes into the damage. Um, Oh, I forgot. This happens passively. So it's one for this plus one plus one. So add three. I forgot to I forgot to add that for the first attack. So I'm gonna let that go. Wait, so what happened? What? So wait. Because of my passive, yeah. For as long as you know multiple are, are adjacent, it adds one per extra attacker. Oh right, right, right. Okay. So it's two. Plus this one for uh, three, plus one for four, plus one for five. So it's five to two, so three damage goes through. Uh, this is your card. This is my card. So I, it should have been two more damage for the first attack, but I forgot it. Okay. So so I'm I'm happy to, to let that go. So that's the thing. This is the one that always gets me. I always forget to use the like passive abilities. Except for Bruce Lee, because it's just so powerful. Like this one, also pretty powerful, but uh, that was my third action, so go ahead. Hi. All good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll make it up. Yeah. Just like half. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. More full tackle. You could go half if you want. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm going to maneuver. You're gonna get the hunchman out of there. Uh. Yes, I am. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so let's see. Where is he going to go? Let's do one. Can I do this? And is it, can I go use a secret passage? It, it as, takes a, it takes a movement point. It takes a movement yeah. point. All right, so so I'm if you only on have one, you would need a third movement point to go through. Two. 
And let's do one, two. All right, then damn it. Put mm -hmm. a maneuver again. Um, two. Interesting. Right? Yeah. And. <clears throat> Go ahead. Moving back in the middle of my raptors. Let's do one. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Switch and move. Okay. Huh. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to maneuver. And let's do like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do that. Uh, second action. I'll maneuver again. Uh, one, one. Your turn. Just really trying to keep you cornered there. So adjacency is, um, you are adjacent to this empty one and this empty one. He is blocking the only out from there, and these two are blocking the two outs from there. So, you know, you have space to move. Oh, hey, what cards did I draw? Yeah. All right, I'm going to maneuver. Menu. <clears throat> um. No, what? Oh, oh yeah. okay, thank good, you. thanks. That's smart. Um, all right, so Brit's going here. Brit's going here. Okay, so that's a maneuver. Into the, did you take your card? I did. Okay. Um, Huntsman moving? Uh, yes, he is. Okay. Oh, 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 relax. There's a hummingbird at your flowers. Oh, Whoa. yay. All right, so Huntsman moved, and now I'm going to attack. Okay. Uh, who is attacking who? Uh, red, red is attacking this route. No, one she's adjacent to. Got it. Ugh. I'm going to look something up in a minute. But, okay. Um, defending. Ready? All right. Immediately, uh, choose one of your other undefeated raptors. You may place her adjacent to the opposing fighter. Zoop. Hello. Um... You don't have a during. Uh, I do have what's in my basket, right? So, so that what so, that is doing is this card counts at no. So it's the other way around. When this hits your discard pile, yeah, it is a wild card for the next card you play. Okay. Um. So four minus three going to take one damage down to six. And then that's that. Now it's my turn. Yep. Okay. Well, and now. I, and I'm. Yeah, this I'm, could be trouble. Yes. Uh, Raptor is attacking. Let's say Tall Boy is attacking. Red. Okay, let's see here. Uh, immediately, cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Oh, that's good. 
because you have the wild card showing, you can also say, also ignore the value of your opponent's card. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. So uh, zero minus three, no damage goes through. Uh, and after combat doesn't trigger it. Okay, that's mean of you. But I thought that was well played. <laughs> it was well played. That's why it was mean. Um, uh, but check this out. <laughs> That was your first move? That was my first move. And I was sure. going to have a third, but you just canceled it. Okay. Second attack. Same, same uh, attackers. Same participants, I guess? What's in the basket? Okay. Uh, no immediate, no during. Four? Plus one for the other adjacent raptor, so that's a five. Minus the four, so one goes through to red. That's the first damage on her, huh? Yes. I actually got my work cut out for me. Um, after combat, if you won the combat, I did. Deal one damage to the opposing fighter for each of your raptors adjacent to them. So two are adjacent, so that's two more damage. Two red. And that is the end of my turn. And good luck, because she cannot move out of there. Unless you have something that causes a non-standard movement. Um, so you know what? We're just going to fight it out. Oh, yeah? Attack. Defend. Uh, which one are you attacking? Um, Rushy or guy. Tall Boy? Rushy? Yeah. Bitey? Okay. Yeah. Faint! Immediately cancel all effects uh, on your opponent's card. Crap. So, uh, yeah, two minus two for uh, nothing goes through. And after effect does not happen. All right, so now I'm going to maneuver. Okay. Uh, I can't move red, so. I'm gonna go one, two. That's it, right? That's my two moves? Yeah. Right. So I think that's why like having at least one sidekick is important for like every character. Because the idea of, like, you're going to be going after your opponent's hero character. Yeah. So you want, and kind of ignoring the sidekick as much as they can. Mm -hmm. So you want to use the sidekick to harass and, like, hey, you can't just sit on top of my guy. You, I'm here, remember me? Yeah. Um, it's, it's an interesting dynamic. and But that's also why I think that, like, Bruce Lee versus, like, Invisible Man versus Bloody Mary might be a really lame matchup. Mm -hmm. Because it is single characters with no sidekicks and like they are heavy on movement but it's like i'm either standing next to you or i'm not adjacent to you because they're also melee only characters so it's, i would play that match just to see how like melee, what's melee mean it just only adjacent, only adjacent. Yeah. uh i'm gonna start by maneuvering believe it or not uh because i want to scooch this guy back and bring in uh he's got kind of a seductive he's kind of doing blue steel you know uh, he wasn't uh, you went two? He went back one. He came in two. Two, okay. Yeah. And he's staying there. Uh, second action attacking from Tall Boy. It's Eviscerate. Eviscerate? Uh, so that's five. Uh, you, no immediate, no during. So it's five plus one for adjacency. So that's six. Minus two, four damage goes through to red. That's just a big bite. It's so big, he's biting the the UI of the card. Mm -hmm. UI? That's not what it's called. Layout? Frame? Frame, Frame. maybe. Um, after combat, and that symbol is showing in your basket, mm -hmm. uh, deal damage to the opposing fighter equal to the printed value of their card. Oh, shoot. So Tollboy also takes five damage. It goes down to one. Ouch. Just bit both of us. Ow. What? Ow. What? <laughs> Too many teeth. 
Uh, all right, your turn. Yeah, because I did a movement in fact. Yeah. All right. So a huntsman can just be in the same zone, right? Doesn't have to be the adjacent. Right. All right. So here we go. Oh gosh, I Attack. see what's happening. Attack. Um. No, this guy right here. Yep. Yeah. No. I. I. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Defend. Uh, faint. Immediately cancel all effects. You know what? Yours wouldn't have actually uh, affected it anyway. Um, so four minus two takes two damage. This guy is out of the fight. Wow. And here's the, the, the fun thing about the raptors. Wait, why? Doesn't it cancel everything? Why are you getting damage? Cancels the effects. Oh, the, the attack. attack still goes as normal. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, right. Wow, okay, so you just dumped one of my dinosaurs. Thanks. All right. Um... And that was your first that was action. The first action. Yeah. He was already in the zone. Right, so then I'm gonna maneuver. Um. Oh no, two. Only two. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, I'm gonna maneuver. One, two, three. One, two. Three. And then I'm going to maneuver again and just take the card. And now it's your turn. You think so, huh? Well, I got to think now because, like, I did a bunch of damage, but I, I've got one at full health and one, you know, almost at half health. And I just lost one passive attack power on all my cards, you know? All right. So I'm going to maneuver. Because I bit two. myself and then got shot. <laughs> the heck? And then we're going to do... Oh, no! One, two. That's what we're going to do. You're going to... So you're attacking from the Huntsman. You could hit either. Um, this one's go. already damaged. I'll say that. Yeah, let's go with this guy. He's closest. Yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, immediately choose one of your other undefeated raptors. You may place her adjacent to the opposing fighter. I may. So you attack the hurt one, so that would be this one. I could put that adjacent to the huntsman. I don't want to. Um, really? Okay. And now you have a during. If the huntsman's adjacent to the opposing, which he is not, so that doesn't happen. So four minus three, uh, hurt one takes one damage, down to three. And that was second action? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to start with the maneuver. I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Which you still have an escape route this time. You're lucky. And second. Attacking. Hmm. Red from Bidey. I have... Bitey, Blue Steel, and Tall Boy are my name for the three raptors. Okay. Um, Gonna faint me? No. But Ooh. it says I can use this as a defense card. If that is showing, correct. Yes. I'm you get better at this. I am, I am. Um. Okay, no immediate, no during. So uh, three minus four, so nothing goes through. Um, after combat, if one or more of your raptors is adjacent to the opposing fighter, gain one action. So I have two. Uh, I have one action left, right? Because yep. I did a move and then I did an attack. So one more. Oh, action. I finally used that right. Yeah. Um, attacking. Oh, sorry. Okay. No immediate. You have a during. It does not come into effect because the icon does not match. 
So four plus one for adjacent is five minus two. Three goes through to red. Ooh. After combat. If you won the combat, I did because I dealt damage, deal one damage to one adjacent opposing fighter. So red takes one more. Down to three? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's it? You're done? Yep. So I think this is the big thing with like um, Achilles, Little Red, and I think Beowulf is also kind of like this because he, and Sherlock, because they, they all have like beefy sidekicks is you kind of want to lead with your sidekick and, and keep your hero in the back um, to, to, you know, soak up damage. Um, okay. I'm going to maneuver, obviously. Um, let's do... Um, two. And I'll move again. You moving uh, Huntsman on that first move? No, no, I wasn't moving. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll do one. Two. There we go. Okay. Um... Man, I can't get behind red now. All right, I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to go card. Interesting. I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two. Um, No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to maneuver again, actually, is what I should do. Uh, and then I'll piece out one and one, two, three. Actually, run away. Actually, run away. <laughs> run away? Run away? Run away! <clears throat> All right, so you know what? I'm going to take a scheme. Okay. I'm going to move red. I can move red up to three moves, three spaces. Which guy already has damage on yours? Uh, Biden. One, two, three. Uh -oh. All right. So that's done. And I guess what? Uh -huh. I am prepared to play a defense if I'm guessing correctly. Defend. Okay. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Shit. Uh, the icon does not match, so the rest does not come in. Okay. So three minus four damage does not go through. After combat has been canceled. Okay. So just kind of uh, do one of these. <laughs> all right. Um. I'm going to maneuver. One, two, three. Hello. All right. Blue steel. Um, how many cards do you have in hand? Oh, no. Oh, right. Wrong game. One. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to attack red from blue steel. And she has no defense. Oh, no defense? No. Nope. Well, then three goes through. And then I would gain another action, but that's game. That's game. Good. That's another Those good. That, that, that was fun. another good game. Yeah. You get the hang of red. Red I is a, a complex. Red one. I like, and I like Sherlock. Achilles, I have to play with a few more times. I feel like I think I under I I underplayed him. Yeah. Well, also I wiped out Patrocles like immediately, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. sort of half his yeah. gimmick. I, I was getting better using my uh, sidekick. Also. Yes. Yes. 
Like, like it's it, so I, high. Like it, it's bad enough. You got to focus on what one player can do, but then when you got to focus on what the sidekick can do as well, it's it's tough. Yeah. But it's nice when they're ranged because they can just you know the the ranged be. ones are, are powerful. Yeah. There's yeah. um uh one of the sets we don't have has Medusa, and she has yeah. like two archers, and they're all ranged. Medusa is mm. real cool. Um, I would play with Medusa. I like Medusa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, right. I also just like it because you get so many cool little figurines. You with do, these kids. and the artwork—you like, you can't, you know—and the art is good. And um, yeah, uh, argue with the artwork. It's really beautiful, the artwork, you know. And I do like this because even though like every individual card is you know complex and and there's a lot to keep track of, I do like this as sort of like a it it is more casual than like a um, uh, Magic the Gathering. Or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. do two actions. You do whatever it says on the card. Yeah. There's yeah. not. A, there's not a million things I you think, need to memorize. Now, when we did our test run, yeah. I did play as Little Red, so I was a little bit more familiar with it. Yeah. I think as we play with it, you do get more familiar. I had played with Sherlock in the past, so I kind of knew some of his stuff. But I think the more you get to play with them, of course, the more um, you uh, you you become familiar with it. That's the figures. Yeah. It, ma it makes a nice scene while we're talking over here. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so that was a heck of a battle we had. Yeah, yeah, no. Some of them I came pretty close. I mean, yeah. the, all of them were fairly close. I think, um, again, you you always uh, are a better strategist. Did I say that right? Than I am. You always look ahead. You, and no matter what game we play, yeah, you're always looking ahead. That's something you developed as a game player. That's just my brain That's, is yes. looking I, at I, systems and looking at how pieces yeah. interhook yeah. with each other. Yeah, which this game is so, very much about. Yes. So um, um I, I don't do that as much. Um, I just like, like I said, my 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 preference of games is is like just simple numbers. Or simple symbols, you know, like Uno. Well, well and, that, and any kind of card game, you know. That that's why I think um, it's it's funny and puzzle that you games. I'm more puzzle games. You picked up on Sherlock and Little Red, <laughs> who are two of the most like conditional interlocking pieces kind of characters. <laughs> but so that's good. It means you're attracted. It means you like enjoy playing with those pieces. You yes. can enjoy playing with something even if you're not good at absolutely utilizing absolutely it. yeah. I mean, I had fun, and and again, like I said. It's good to learn things. Like, I got so much better using red this time. The last time I think out of, like, through moves, I, we barely got through six cards. Yeah. And they had to be defeated. At least this time now, um, I gave you a run for your money. I defeated a raptor. Here, you want to so, line that up on me and I'll do our, our segment outro? Yep, yep, yep. And don't do a donation thing, too. Uh, we yeah. do that. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll okay. Do um, I'll do that. Okay. And you're looking at me, and I'm squared up fine. Yep, yep, yep. I think so. Too. So I push this button. There you go. I'm waiting for the thing to update. Hey, there we go. Hi, I'm here too, folks. Um, thank you for hanging out. This is only the first segment. We are scheduled. We scheduled eight hours. We're already running over. Um, <laughs> again, if you're here hanging out, a thank you for keeping us company. B, um, go to the link. It's over here. I think it's over here. Yes. Go to the link, uh, bit.ly slash OBR hyphen 2023, where you can donate. Uh, we are raising money for the Alzheimer's funds. I'm going to do a bigger one at the top of the next segment. But uh, before that, we're going to go for a, I don't know, 15 minute break. We yes. Have to do, yes, please. Because... We got to clean up this whole mess. Yeah, we, we have to change our location. We, we're going to move down to our regular streaming location. So hopefully it'll sound better. Yes. Um, I can't. Studio A. We're going to Studio A. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is sub Studio B. <laughs> actually, it's a Studio C. Uh, I you threw me off. What else was I going to say? Donation time. Oh, no. Nope. No, you did that. Uh, we're going to move locations. We're going to clean up up here. We're going to exchange fluids and uh, take care of everything else we got to do before we get back <laughs> to it. Um, and we're going to come back. We're going to look at Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah, I'm psyched. I'm very psyched. Yeah, we're going to look at Donkey Kong through the ages. So uh, stick around for that. Hang out. Yeah. Um, and we That's will see be you fun. In, uh, in a handful of minutes here. So stick around. We'll be back soon. Bye. <laughs> uh, I hit this button.